Hello, am I talking to Luke? Yeah, hi, yeah. It's Dr. from your surgery. So what do you need your blood tested for? Uh, to check if I'm healthy enough to start hormone replacement therapy for t testosterone. I've said before that it isn't something I can refer you on for due to this being a private consultation. It's for a private consultation to do with your testosterone treatment and we can say no to that. I don't think it is the best idea for you. <laughs> I need to start the treatment because I need my body to go through male pu puberty because I am a male. Thank you for your email. I've discussed this with my colleagues and is, it is a practice policy, no, to request blood tests that are for private consultations. I've, I've always been just like expressing myself. People would always assume I was just like a boy or a, like people would never know whether I was a boy or a girl. When I just hit puberty, it was just like, it was like that feeling of something that I didn't know what it was. But like, I never really realized when I was a kid. I only realized when I was like 14. Cause like when I was living in Poland, like, Transgender was not a thing. When I came here at the age of 11, that's when I kind of started hitting puberty and I was like, yo, this is something weird. I had to learn English, but also try to figure out how I feel. Because I, I kind of knew I had like, I was kind of like, hmm, I think I'm into girls. But whenever someone called me a lesbian, I would, I would, I would go off, I'd be like, no, I'm not a lesbian. Like, I'm just not, that's just not the word for me. I was confused. <laughs> As a transgender person, being a transgender person, in this case a transgender man before hormone replace therapy is very very hard and sometimes not even understandable. I struggle and fight with myself every day being trapped in the wrong body. I question myself, why am I like this? Why me? Środowisko, w jakim się znajdujesz, wywołuje na tobie presję na zasadzie na przykład y, zaczną się wyśmiewać i twoja mm. psychika, na przykład mi chodzi o to, że twoja psychika może nie wytrzymać i możesz w związku z tym y, popełnić no. jakiś życiowy mm -hmm. błąd, nie wiem, no błąd to nazwać, no mm -hmm. krok, y, no, który no, no nie byłby wiadomo zadowalający dla mnie, tak? No. Masz jakieś obawy o siebie? O siebie nie mam żadnych obaw. Nie? Nie. Dobrze. Absolutnie. Jeśli chodzi o to, to nie. Dobrze. Zawsze będziesz moim dzieckiem, niezależnie czy będziesz, czy urodziłaś się jako córka i córką pozostaniesz, czy urodziłaś się jako córka i zmienisz się w, płciowo w, w syna, to zawsze będziesz moim dzieckiem i to... Takie odczucie, że Ciebie tracę, to jest, to, to nie ma czegoś takiego po prostu. I always had my hair in a ponytail with a fringe at the front. Usually at home I would just put a hat on and just tuck all of my hair in. And then I would have the fringe out, which just made me look like a guy. For me, it, it was quite hard because I, I wasn't sure how to explain it or, you know, what to say to my mum. And she was like, why? Why are you unhappy? Because I was like, because of who I am. And she was like, well, who are you? And I was like, I'm a girl. She was like, so you want to be a boy? I stood there and I was like, basically, yeah. And at this point, she just kind of like looked at me confused and she was like, oh, don't worry, it's going to go away. At that point, I was just like, I was heartbroken. <laughs> I, would, I just went back to my room and started crying. Brakuje ci czegoś z Polski i że tam nie mieszkamy? Absolutnie mi niczego nie brakuje i nie żałuję, że tam nie mieszkamy, a mieszkamy tutaj. A dlaczego? 
o czego mi nie brakuje mojego kraju? Dlatego, że to co, to, co teraz tam się dzieje, to jest po prostu jeden wielki kabaret. No niestety, taka jest prawda. Mało ludzi wie właśnie, na czym polega transseksualność. Ludzie wiedzą tylko i wyłącznie homoseksualizm. No z bratem to będzie ciężka sytuacja, ponieważ on ma dopiero 7 lat. Dużo rzeczy nie rozumie, przede wszystkim tego też nie zrozumie, ponieważ ty dla niego jesteś siostrą i zawsze dla niego byłaś siostrą i więc ten temat będzie dla niego ciężki do zrozumienia. Potrzeba na to na pewno czasu. Tak, tak na najbliższa rodzina, która mieszka w Polsce nie zrozumie tego. No, będzie to uważać za coś dziwnego. A jeśli chodzi o moich przyjaciół, to prawdziwi przyjaciele zrozumieją to i raczej, raczej, no mam nadzieję, że będą mnie jakoś tam w jakimś sensie wspierać, jeśli będzie jakiś, jakby mógłby być jakiś problem. No a ci, co nie zrozumieją, no to po prostu zostaną usunięci z naszego życia lub sami się po prostu usuną. I specifically remember telling my mom that I wanted my hair short, just like a boy's haircut. Because my hair used to be long, up to my bum, really. It, I hated it, it was so annoying. But in, in general, though, my, my childhood was great. I was surrounded by caring family members. I had loads of friends. I was having fun, which is all you need as a kid, really. I ask myself all sorts of questions that nobody has the answers to, you know. Being in this situation stops me from doing all of the fun things that I see other people my age do. <laughs> my physical appearance is the opposite of what I feel like on the inside. Um, I seriously, despite the fact that I don't look like a guy, I don't sound like a guy, I don't have the physique of a guy, I hate that. I wasn't born biologically a male because I know I am a guy but on the inside and not on the outside. When I figured myself out I went to my GP and asked them to help me refer myself to the gender identity clinic in London with my mum's agreement. <laughs> Um, I remember receiving a letter a few months after that they accepted my referral on the 7th of March 2018. It's been over a year and I've been waiting for an appointment ever since. I spoke to my mum about this and I've never been more serious about anything in my life. Uh, and we came to an agreement that we will go privately to start testosterone. I know that a lot of money will be needed, and that's why I'm trying my best to get a job. Hello, am I talking to Luke? Yeah, hi, yeah. It's Dr. from surgery. Would you like me to put a blood test with the nurse for you? Um, yeah, I've sent an email to you uh, with the list of the blood tests that I need to do. Okay then, so what do you need your blood tested for? Um, I need the blood test to be done uh, to check if I'm healthy enough to start hormone replacement therapy for t testosterone. I've said before that it isn't something I can refer you on for due to this being a private consultation. Um, yeah, it is for a private gender clinic, but I've I've had plenty of um, friends recommend it to me, saying that they've been really happy, people that have been with them for over a year. Um, they have a great reputation. It's for a private consultation to do with your testosterone treatment and we can say no to Yeah, that. I get that, but it shouldn't matter whether I'm going privately or with the NHS if I need blood tests to be done to check if I'm fine. I don't think it is the best idea it shouldn't, for you. It shouldn't matter. This would make irreversible changes to your body. You're perfectly fine and healthy. You could regret this later on. I need to start the treatment because I need my body 
to go through male pu puberty because I am a male. Starting testosterone might not be the best option for you. You cannot be 100% sure. Yeah, in, in all honesty, I respect you as a, as a doctor and everything, but I know myself the best and I know that this is real. This is something I'm not making up. This is this is how I legit feel. I need hormones, male hormones, to go through male puberty because my body that I have right now, <laughs> that's not what I want. Testosterone, pojęciem testosteronu, rozumiem, że to jest męski hormon odpowiadający za wszystkie cechy męskie. No. To oznacza dla ciebie to, że zaczniesz się zmieniać. Jak się osobiście czujesz, że zaczynam testos testosteron? Masz jakiś problem z tym? Nie, nie, to, nie, nie, nie mam problemu, tylko jestem ciekawa po prostu, jak to wszystko z miesiąca na miesiąc, jakie będą zmiany. To mnie bardziej interesuje. Uuu. Zobaczyć, że tak powiem na żywo, jak się zaczniesz zmieniać. Mhm. Jaka jest twoja opinia na temat prywatnej kliniki? Ja myślę, że to jest nasza jedyna opcja, a nie tyle najlepsza. No, no. Generalnie to nie mamy wyjścia. A, no tak jak mówię, no, każda prywatna klinika dba o swoich klientów. Jeżeli czegoś nie rozumiesz, wiadomo, że są ci w stanie pomóc w, w każdy sposób. Zadając pytania, spotykając się z tobą, rozmawiając. I opinia jest no, dobra. Staram się rozumieć lekarzy z GP, że twierdząc, twierdzą, że jest to bardzo poważna decyzja, nieodwołalna, ale z drugiej strony uważam, że nie, bardziej chodzi mi o to, że starają się ingerować w nasze życie, w nasze decyzje, pomimo tego, że decyzja już została podjęta, nie są w żaden sposób, może nie to, że nie są w żaden sposób nam pomóc, odsyłają nas do innych klinik, żeby po prostu nas od odwieść od tego. That's so pointless. Wait, what the hell? So She's basically saying that I can't have any NHS blood tests. Like honestly, ju no, no, this was so stupid because just because I'm going privately for hormone replacement therapy doesn't mean I have all of the money on the world and I can pay for blood tests. Not having a male body is very uneasy and uncomfortable. Um, I just have this massive hatred towards myself because this is not what I want. It is draining in every single way possible, honestly. I have to wear a binder to flatten my chest and this stuff is tight. Um, no matter where I am or who I'm with, I always try to hide my body and present myself as a guy. But because I know what's underneath, All I see is a girl. It just makes me very upset and angry because I don't want to have a female's body. I'm a guy and I and I need a guy's body. I've I've stopped doing certain things that I really enjoyed because of my gender dysphoria and body dysphoria. One of them was football. 
I'm not narcissistic, but I know I was good. I was told that plenty of times by many different people. I played football ever since I can remember, really. It, it was just my thing. <laughs> yeah, that's the doctors. Is that the one you just called? No, 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 that's that's a different one. Oh. Okay. That's, that's the, this one that I just showed you is the doctor's yeah. number. The one that I previously called is for the, the actual gender clinic itself. Because I don't really want to like call her when it's like awkward timing or she's sp speaking to someone. Try she's calling. busy. And, well, if she's busy, she won't answer. But if she's not, she will. There's only one way to find out. I'm so scared. Call cool. him. Go on. I'm so scared. Yeah, hi, it's Luke. Um, yeah, I've, I've paid the, the £60 for the information gathering session, but I, I booked it too quickly. Um, and I was advised to, like, postpone it. I've just spoken to Katie. Okay. She's got the email. She's, she's got an email regarding your IGS, etc. Mm-hmm. She's going to sort it out now, and she'll be back in touch. Okay, alright, sweet. Bye. Thank you so much. Thank you, bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, did you hear her? She yeah. was so loud. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> you can just clearly see me, like, like, even that. Just basically them saying we'll sort it out, like, the, um, what do you call it, the appointment. I don't know. It's, I, just, I just feel like I'm one step closer. You are now, yeah. 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 So I'm like... Ooh. So that phone call Ooh. is a whole step closer itself. So. Oh, man. This is insane. Pomożesz mi z moją przemianą? Jeśli tak, to jak? Tak pomogę. Jak? No w sposób wspierając Ciebie i rozmawiając na ten temat. Zapłacisz za coś może? No trzeba będzie, nie? Oczywiście pokryję koszty. No ale nie wszystko, nie? Zobaczymy. Financially, she has been like really amazing. She she obviously works every day, um, really hard. She has spent quite a lot of money so far um, for me, which I genuinely appreciate because I don't have a job. I had, I haven't found a job, and I've been looking for a job since I was 16. Uh, no luck for me. I do really appreciate all of her help, and I do love her no matter what. Hey, that's the most cheesy I've ever been. <laughs> <laughs> I know this is a cliche and everyone says it, but it does get better. <laughs> I've been there at rock bottom. I don't want to get my hopes up too much just in case something happens and I'll get very upset, but honestly, I can start this room very, very soon. So that is insane. Oh, I'm so happy.